Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, March. I don't even know, 19th, I think. I don't know. Friday's it. I think it's the 20th, whatever. 2017, it's Sunday. I have my dates mixed up. Anyway, I was watching some YouTube videos. They had the uh, the Dearborn. Uh, there was a couple of guys last month that walked into a Dearborn police station armed to the teeth. Um, well, what they claim was legally open carry, and they're, they're facing felony charges now. I'm all for open carry, but there's certain things I'm against. I mean, what they did was purely intimidation against the cops, and I'm purely against that. And now these dingbats are facing felony charges and having their guns taken away because they wanted to storm a police station armed to the damn teeth, and they wanted to make a point. You want to make a point, there's a good way to do it and a bad way to do it. Meanwhile, in Stillen Heights, I just watched a news report. In Stillen Heights, they're building a mega mosque. Yeah, that's my hat. Make America great again. I know it's kind of dark. You really can't see it that well. The camera lens. Anyway, now reportedly on the same day that these guys walked inside the Dearborn police station, there was a few armed men marching up the street in Dearborn on Schaefer Avenue. I think the news reporter got the damn story wrong. I think the incident happened, the incident with the police station happened on February 5th, I believe, and the armed uh, men was walking up Schaefer Road. I think that would happen on February 19th. Now, the news reporter said she got, that it would happen on the same day, coincidentally. I think she got her days wrong. Because I just watched an arraignment. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I just watched a, a YouTube video of Detroit News where the two guys that walked inside the police station in Dearborn were being arraigned. They were being arraigned on felony charges. I think it's really stupid of them to walk inside of a police station armed to the damn teeth. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I'm all about open carry. But now the chief of police in Dearborn is now trying to work with legislators to go to go in the state in Lansing to try to re you know try to relook at the open carry law in Michigan. And you could thank these two fucking assholes because of it. These two fucking assholes want to go inside of a damn police station armed to the damn teeth just to try to make a point. And now the open carry, gonna, I'm not saying the open carry is going to be banned in Michigan. There is no open carry law in Michigan unless you are a convicted felon and you cannot even carry a gun. That's the only open carry law there is in Michigan. And that's, that's a federal law. You're a felon, you can't own a gun. But anyway, now they're talking about, it's, 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 there's nothing being done yet, but it's all talk that they're talking about, you know, looking at the open carry law in Michigan. And these two little, these two little fucking pieces of shit are, we're going to lose open carry because of people like this. Now let's move on to the other thing I want to talk about. The mega mosque in Stillen Heights. I'm going to say some things. I'm probably going to offend some people. But I'm going to say it pure out of my heart. And it needs to be said. They're going to build a mega mosque in Stillen Heights. Which I'm totally against. 15 and Mound, 15 mile road and Mound is where the construction site's going to happen. I don't know if they started it yet or not. I'm still looking into it. But it got approved. Stillen Heights is going to build this fucking mosque. We got enough of them. You see what's happening, people. The Islam is trying to take over the world. Is you know, the ISIS, they pushed the people out of Iraq... These Iraqi, you know, that neighborhood, that area where they want to build that mosque. That neighborhood over there is Iraqi Christian Chaldeans. Some of them escaped the war. Some of them have relatives that were murdered under the regime tyrannical rule of Saddam Hussein. And now, they're, they're, you see what they're trying to do? They're trying to build a mega mosque in the area to try to push them out. That's what they're trying to do. ISIS pushed these Christians, these Chaldeans out of Iraq. And now they're going to try to push the Chaldeans out of their own neighborhoods in Stolen Heights. So, and this is not a threat that I'm going to say or anything like that. This is purely constitutional. Purely, uh, I'm 
purely a peaceful man. But what I'm calling my I'm calling my open carry brothers and sisters to do is let's stage an open carry march in front of the construction site of the mosque in protest of this mosque. I'm not calling for any violence. I'm not calling for any threats. I'm not calling for any blood. I'm not calling for any of that. I'm not, no, I'm, I'm just calling for peace and protest this mega mosque in Stone Heights. To all my open carry brothers and sisters, Stone Heights, Michigan. We should have an open carry rally or an open carry protest in front of the mega mosque in Stone Heights, the construction site. I'm not calling for any violence. I'm not calling for any threats or anything like that. Purely constitutional, no violence, no hate intended. Sort of like every year they had the global peace rally with open carry people come out with their guns and uh, peacefully protest. That's all I'm calling for. Peaceful protest in the city of Sterling Heights. Let our voices be heard. We cannot let Islam take over our neighborhoods, our communities, and our country, and our world. We must defeat Islam everywhere it's at. We are the infidels. Muhammad was a pedophile, okay? He married a five-year-old. And Muslims are the servant of Satan. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Islam is a death religion. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing peaceful about it. When they're talking about beating the hell out of women, when they're talking about raping women and beating the hell and stoning rape victims, and, you know, women can't even hold driver's license, they can't hold jobs, and they must shield themselves in public, shield their faces or whatever, so other guys don't drool on them or, or, or you know, perv on them or whatever the hell they said gotta shield their faces and it's just it's sick the shit that they 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 stick up for i mean it's just it's just ridiculous i mean what kind of shit religion is islam you know what i mean this is not a religion of peace it's a religion of death it is a damn death cult and they're there you see what's happening in the middle east where isis is moving from country to country they're going from village to village killing christians chopping their heads off you see it all the time on Al Jazeera TV. It's sickening. And now they're trying to put, you know, these, these Iraqi Christians in this neighborhood in Sterling Heights. They're living in peace. And now they're trying to push them out of the damn neighborhood by building a mega mosque in the area. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, that's the video. I'll leave the comment section open. The so-called dance floor open. And, uh... Well, just post what you believe below and, uh, post, post your comments below what you think. Let's have an open carry rally. I'm, I'm not calling to intimidate citizens of Sterling Heights. I'm not calling to intimidate the police of Sterling Heights. I'm totally not trying to do that. This is pure constitutional, you know, just open carry in front of the construction site of the Mega Mosque. Not trying to intimidate anybody. I'm not some of these idiots out there that just want to do it for YouTube views and do it to intimidate the cops and do it to intimidate citizens. That's not what I stand for. I'm just asking you to stand up for your rights and let your voices be heard. That's all I'm asking.